In this video, I'm going to talk about PowerShell 7. Now, uh, we sometimes we get confused between various PowerShell terminologies used within the operating system. Now, Windows PowerShell means a PowerShell which is compatible with Windows. So we have Windows PowerShell, which is of 32-bit and 64-bit version. And we have Windows PowerShell integrated scripting environment for 32-bit and 64-bit. Now, this is apart from that. This is PowerShell 7 or PowerShell or earlier it was called as PowerShell Core. It is based on a .NET Core framework. Now, .NET Core framework basically was introduced to uh, build an application which is uh, not specifically dependent on Windows, but a wider range of operating systems. So compatibility with various uh, native support for various operating systems. Now, PowerShell, again, PowerShell 7 is a cross-platform automation and configuration tool. It works well with the structured data such as csv json xml etc uh, and even rest apis and the object model now powershell 7 is like a uh, is an independent uh, utility which can be downloaded from a website and then you can run it on your operating system now whether you can run powershell 7 on windows yes you can run powershell 7 on windows however you can uh, run powershell 7 commands uh, on other operating systems as well. So there is Ubuntu, Debian, CentOS, Red Hat Enterprise, Linux, OpenCZ, Fedora, Mac OS. So all these operating systems can run PowerShell commands. Now PowerShell 7 command was introduced so that we have a cross-platform capability of the commands which is available within PowerShell. Now remember PowerShell 7 commands are like a, uh, like a subset of the PowerShell command which is available for Windows. Now, all the source code repository is open source and Microsoft has uh, loaded all the uh, information with regards to PowerShell in the GitHub website. Basically, what it contains, it, it contains a command line shell, uh, an associated scripting language and a, a basic framework for processing. Okay, so uh, jumping on to here now think about it like you have operating system windows okay now you do not have say powershell 7 let's assume it's not installed so if you do not have powershell 7 then what you need to do is like you need to go into say any of the powershell and then uh, start executing some command to download the powershell or alternatively you can go into the website to download the uh, powershell 7. now i'll show you uh, documentation provided by microsoft so Microsoft will give you uh, a whole bunch of options to install PowerShell 7, okay? Now, WinGet is one. MSI package is a package whereby you will be provided with a file to extract the packages and then install it in your operating system of choice. You can use .NET Global Tool to install or alternatively, if you are on Windows, you can use Microsoft Store package to install the PowerShell. Now, uh, if you go into GitHub, you will see the PowerShell documentation, PowerShell code base, all loaded uh, within the GitHub project. And you can explore and see the documentation around PowerShell, what it is, what is the compatibility level, uh, what is the LTS, uh, and what is the stable version of the current uh, version for the PowerShell 7, uh, and so on and so forth, okay? So uh, there is a subtle difference between Windows PowerShell 5.1 and the PowerShell 7.x version. Okay, now I'm telling PowerShell 7, but it's uh, way beyond that. It is 7. Point something. Okay, now PowerShell 5.1 is operating system specific, so this is Windows specific. Okay, and that's why it is called as Windows PowerShell. PowerShell 7. Point is cross-platform compatible uh, application. Okay. Now, if you see the documentation, it says Windows PowerShell 5.1 is built on .NET framework. Okay, so V4.5. Now, PowerShell, uh, there are a few differences in the PowerShell language between Windows PowerShell and PowerShell. The most notable difference are in the availability and behavior of the PowerShell commandlet between Windows and the non-Windows platform, and the changes that stem from the difference between a .NET framework and .NET Core. So. In nutshell, I would say Windows PowerShell is built on .NET Framework. PowerShell 7 is built on .NET Core. 
okay and you can read other documentation over here which will list down a detailed information about the isc the workflow the snap-ins the diagnostics the partial management the design state configuration uh, the invoke method the get method the transaction method event log okay so it's 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 pretty much uh, uh, comprehensive documentation done by microsoft now what we are going to do is we're going to run one command in uh, windows powershell so this is my windows powershell and let me do a windows v and let me put this command so there is a command called as win get install dash dash id microsoft.powershell and the source okay uh, so if you run this command then it will say that uh, in my system it isn't found an existing package already installed because i've already installed uh, windows Powersh uh, sorry powershell 7 and that's why it is giving me this kind of information but then if you install it fresh then you will be able to uh, install powershell 7. now this is the win get way of installation you can anyways download the zip file or the uh, you know, the other packages of MSI uh, and then install the PowerShell 7. Now, once you install PowerShell 7, you will see this icon, PowerShell 7, okay? Now, this PowerShell 7 icon, you can run this and you can go more and run as administrator, okay? Now, once you do that, you will be again presented with a command prompt and here it will clearly show you uh, administrator PowerShell 7, okay? Now, this one, uh, is PowerShell 7.4.0, okay? And you can uh, run all the PowerShell command, most of the PowerShell command over here. It is kind of like a, a subset of the Windows PowerShell, uh, but you can do much more than that over here because this is now compatible with various other operating system as well. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to cover all the commands within PowerShell as of now, but then this is just to give a flavor of that these kind of PowerShell also exist and you can run various scripting uh, uh, within this particular interface and get your work done. So uh, this is about PowerShell 7. Now there is an another flavor called as PowerShell Preview. Okay. Now again, this is like a release candidate version. If I run this as more run as administrator, this is again a <coughs> again an application which is basically uh, a one level a higher version it's a release candidate version for powershell 7.4 uh, here also you can run various powershell command this is uh, uh, not a stable release okay this is just for experimentation purposes don't use any production based work uh, but uh, this will be helpful if you want to see what all commands are coming up in the newer version of powershell 7. Okay, so that's it folks. This is all about PowerShell 7. I'll uh, come up with some more advanced topic in my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.